I've got a fair amount of experience of uh, playing in orchestras from when I was a medical student at St Thomas's. Uh, right the way through, uh, I've played in the Toronto Scarborough Philharmonic uh, when I was doing a research year. I've played in orchestras in Derby, um, and uh, I've also sung in the Huddersfield Choral for 25 years, and I've sung in the Halifax Choral for 10 years. So I've got a fair, fair experience of uh, being part of the team, uh, and I hope some of that experience will help me uh, guide and, and uh, champion the orchestra. I think the main challenge is numbers. Uh, we want more audience, we want more players, uh, we want uh, more subscribers, uh, we want more of everything. Uh, and whether we want more concerts, some playing members do want to play more. So uh, really my uh, challenge I feel from this two years is more. Well, it's uh, been going for 150 years. This is the 151st season, and that tradition must be a strength. Um, it's shown adaptability and flexibility, and so I think we, we will survive. I started playing the piano at about eight and a half, uh, and it was really, I was intrigued at how a pianist knows which of those white or black keys to press down. So it was an intellectual start to music. And after about 10 years, I really started to enjoy things like melodies, rhythms, harmonies. Uh, but it was an intellectual start. And the thing that really turned me on to the cello was just the sound of a plucked C string with a cello that was sitting on top of a grand piano. I just thought it was a, just a lovely sound. And um, I'm afraid it's been my mistress ever since. got a very exciting program. Uh, we've got Laura van den Heiden, who's the winner of the 2012 Young Musician of the Year, uh, and she's playing the Elgar Cello Concerto, which is a really wonderful and inspiring work. Uh, so for that alone, it's worth coming. <laughs>